halfway through this video, my camera decided to turn off and I lost it, so let's take it from the top. Hey everyone, it's Chris. Thanks for coming to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the iPhone 12 Pro silicone case. Now, I say iPhone 12 Pro, but this also fits the iPhone 12, and I wanted to cover my thoughts on this. It's my first time getting the Apple silicone case, and I gotta say overall, I'm very impressed with a few things. The comfort of the case, the build quality of the case, and also some of the features of the case, which is kind of weird to say about the phone, but we'll get into that later. First thing I want to talk about is comfort. Whenever I put this case in my hand, even without the phone, it just feels comfortable. Like the silicone grip uh, makes it feel like I have a secure hold on my phone. And also it just, my hand just wraps around the phone nicely. So I really like the comfort. I never feel like I'm holding my phone wrong or I don't know, just using my phone when it's in this case is really comfortable and I could use my phone for an extended period of time without um, being bothered by any sort of like plastic or anything like that that I would find in a different case. Uh, the build quality is is pretty good as well. The, the silicone feels like a high quality silicone. It doesn't feel like that jelly or really stretchy silicone that you might find in some of the cheaper cases. The inside is lined with this microfiber that uh, it feels really soft and it protects the, uh, the frosted glass back of the iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, you also have some of that microfiber on the edges which protects the really shiny fingerprint magnet sides of the phone. So it feels, whenever you put the phone in the case, it feels snug, it feels secure. You feel good about the case you just put on your phone, which it, it's a thing, I think. Uh, you'll see inside you also have the little circle. Uh, this is for MagSafe. So one of the cool things whenever you put the phone in the case is that you'll get this little animation that just, it, you get a MagSafe circle that's the same color as your case. Really neat feature that, that Apple added. I don't know if other MagSafe cases that aren't made by Apple will have the same thing. Um, it's just a, a cool detail. It's it's nothing nothing too crazy. Uh, whenever you put the phone in the case, one of the things that I like about this case is how it feels whenever you press the buttons. So you get a really responsive uh, click whenever you press the volume buttons, uh, the power button as well. You get a really good, satisfying click where you know that you've clicked it. So let's say you're trying to use Apple Pay and you're trying to bring it up by pressing the power button twice. You can comfortably do that and uh, not have to fiddle around with your phone whenever you're trying to pay. Case with the phone in hand, like it's it's very comfortable, it's very soft on the hands. Um, it's very easy to clean as well, like so sometimes I'll, if I'm eating or something or something gets on the phone, like I can just get a napkin or a microfiber and just wipe the case down and it's good to go. You don't see any sort of, um, any sort of residue or anything like that. It's really easy to clean and it just, it, who doesn't like having a nice clean phone? So really like that portion of it. The build quality, like I said, it's silicone, but it doesn't feel like those cheap silicones that are super stretchy or anything like that. It's a good quality silicone. It protects um, all around the phone. You have your cutouts at the bottom. Uh, and one of the things that I was worried about is how does this case work with a screen protector? So I'm using the Spigen screen protector. It's the glass version. I'm not a fan of the plastic ones. Um, but I made sure to get the case friendly version and if you can see how the case fits with the screen protector You see that there's a small gap there that uh, will make sure that your case isn't digging under the screen protector and allowing for dust and debris to to get in there and eventually like pull up your screen protector case plus screen protector combo here really big fan of now features so this case does have MagSafe and one of the things that I like that I wasn't a fan of on the plastic cases is that you don't really see the MagSafe uh, magnet here. You see it on the inside, but on the outside, um, you don't see it. I, it's, it's really weird that Apple would release a case like that where you can see it. Uh, I don't know. Wasn't a big fan of it. One of the reasons I went for this one too. Uh, but it does support MagSafe. Now, I could go on a rant about MagSafe. I don't have a MagSafe charger. I'm not really buying into the ecosystem yet. Uh, it's really early. I'm excited about what's to come about MagSafe, but in terms of MagSafe and using it with this case, haven't used it there. I have seen some videos though, where some people that are using MagSafe with this specific case are seeing little rings uh, from the MagSafe charger. 
Not sure if that's something that's just going to become permanent and part of the case or if it's something that you can wipe off every now and then just to get that residue off the case. Uh, what I am excited about MagSafe though, like I said, is the accessories and the environment that's going to be created for MagSafe. So some things that I'm excited about are like a car mount. Uh, Belkin is currently the only one that I see where it's a MagSafe compatible car mount, but not having to uh, stick a really big magnet on the back of my case, it's, um, it's pretty convenient. The fact that it's built into the case, uh, I can't wait for more manufacturers to make those types of cases. Um, but for right now, I think the Belkin one is the only one that's been released. Moment and Peak Design have also released some MagSafe accessories. Those are really cool if you're into photography and uh, like to buy all of these different accessories for your iPhone camera uh, to take some cool pictures, so that's really cool. But for now, MagSafe is not something that I'm using. I'm still using the regular lightning cable to charge my phone, and on occasion, I put it on a wireless charger that I have by my nightstand. Some of the things that I ran into whenever I was using a wireless charger with my iPhone 10 was that the placement was off. I had to get it in the right place to make sure that it charged overnight. That doesn't seem to be an issue with this one. I seem to be able to place it, leave it, and whether it's the silicone that's keeping it in place, um, I haven't had any issues with wireless charging. So I'll end it there. Hopefully you got some good info on the case, whether or not it's worth it for your phone. Um, like I mentioned at the top of the video, it's my first time getting this case. Um, I've always been hesitant on spending $50 or so on a silicone case, but I can tell you now that it's definitely worth it. I don't think that I'm going to be switching and getting any other types of cases like I did with prior phones. Like I think this one, it secures the phone, it's protected, um, it looks nice, it feels great to use. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this one and don't really see a reason to, to get another one. Let me know what you think down below. I'm really interested to see whether or not the silicone case is something that you were interested in. Uh, what color did you get? Are there any other cases that maybe I should consider instead of just going with this one? Really excited to see what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, I'll end the video there. Again, my name is Chris. Thanks for coming to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Like this video if you found it helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.